ang pa homepage myopia is a refractive defect of the eyes kung saan ang nakikitang image natin of far away objects ay mas malabo kumpara dun sa mga malilinaw ang mata in layman's terms it's called nearsightedness and to help us learn more about myopia kasama natin si Dr. Young Larazabal isang ophthalmologist Good morning, Doc. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Doc. For your information, mga kahopage, si Doc Young Larazabal is the husband of Donna Cruz. Okay, Doc, so let's get right to it. What is myopia? Myopia is what we call nearsightedness. Mm -hmm. Nearsightedness is one of the refractive errors ng, ng tao. No? It's, when I show you a diagram of the eye, it's like a camera. No? So when you look at objects, an image should be focused on the film of the eye, what we call the retina. No? Kung ang object is focused before the retina, we call it short-sightedness. This is usually seen kung malabo or mahaba yung mata, elongated okay. eyeballs. No? Baliktad naman, if a patient sees things na nafo-focus sa likod, we call it hyperopia or far-sightedness. Far -sightedness. Okay, so what causes the elongation of the eyeballs? Are, are those genetic? Genetic. Okay. People are uh, genetically predisposed. No? So, for example, one parent is myopic, there's a 50% chance the offspring will be myopic also. Anyway, sir, is it a myth na, kunwari, nagbabasa ka sa moving vehicles mm -hmm. or nagbabasa ka in the dark, mm -hmm. nakakalabo ng mata? Yeah, that's actually a myth. Ah, okay. Um, ang lifestyle lang, if a patient or a person is doing near work most of the time, nagiging worsen yung pagkamayopia niya. Totoo po ba na kung yung mga taong ma malalabo yung mata or may myopic, mm -hmm. nakakabasa pa rin sila even though wala silang glasses? Yeah. Kailangan lang nilang ilapit yung binabasa nila. Yes, and that's one of their advantages actually when they're past 40 years old. No? Nakaka-read pa rin sila. Unlike for a normal person who sees 20-20, then pagdating ng 40 years old, nagre-reading glasses na siya. Okay. So with age, parang nagbabago din yung read ng mata? Yeah, especially oh, in the reading part. No? Okay. Pero yung pag sa distance, usually that's permanent. No? Okay. Pero usually, when we grow older, like mm -hmm. 40s, 50s, Nagiging mas hyperopic. Yes, nagiging hyperopic. The term called is press biopia. Oh, okay. Yun naman ang kwa, no? But that's when the lens, ito, um, loses its elasticity and cannot anymore focus. That's why, ano nangyari, ginagano na pag-text. Mm, pag yeah, yeah. Pag-text, 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 So, you need the glasses to push back the image here naman. So, the lens, mm -hmm. it doesn't have anything to do with myopia. It's just the no. elongation of the, yes. the eyeballs. Mm -hmm. How do we cure that or how we correct that? Actually, there are several options, no? Okay. The easiest is still eyeglasses, no? Because the eyeglasses, what it does, from the image here, you put the eyeglass in front, it refocuses the image to focus on the retina, mm -hmm. no? If you don't want to wear glasses naman, you can wear contact lens, no? Yeah. But yung contact lens naman, not everyone can tolerate it. Most women can, but most men cannot. No? And you also have to be very responsible because um, you have to remove it every day, you have to have good hygiene because in that it, it can cause infection of the eye. No? Myopia, usually it doesn't develop right away, right? No. When, when the kid is born, no. medyo mal, malino pa yung mata niya. Yeah. So par, medyo kailan siya na, nagde-develop? No. Once a patient is genetically predisposed, no, as he grows older and uses his eye, like goes to school, uses the computer, nagiging worse as, okay. you know, as nagagamit, as nagiging older yung patient. If they don't want to wear eyeglasses, then that's the time we, we offer surgical procedures. The most common pa rin is LASIK, no? LASIK naman is uh, we reshape the surface of the eye, the cornea, to make the shape like the contact lens. Okay. But it's permanent, no? Because we're reshaping it. No? LASIK is called um, laser in cytokeramiliosis, wherein we peel off the pinaka surface oh, ng cornea, okay. we laser and close it, put back the flap. Ang advantage nito, after three hours, this flap is back to the eye, na. Okay. So, so parang nalilesin yung pagka-concave ng cornea yeah. para yung image mag-fall dun sa safe. retina. Okay. Yeah. Is that dangerous? It's very, very safe. The, the complication rate is less than 0.1%. Very rare okay. nowadays, especially with the new machines available. So the surgery, that's just once, right? It's yes. not a series of surgeries. It's a 5 to 10 minute procedure per eye, and then the normal healing time is 3 hours. No? 3 hours. Uh, so the next day, the patient already can drive, go to the mall, do your normal daily activities. So his vision is 20-20 na by then? 90% of the time is 20-20. Okay. The rest of the 10% get the 2020 within a week. No? The side effects here are usually temporary, unlike before with the old machines, it's usually permanent. Mm -hmm. But now it's temporary, like sometimes dryness of the eye, Mm -hmm. Difficulty driving at night, 
And of course, there are restrictions for one month. No, you cannot swim, you cannot play active sports, okay. or you avoid sweat getting into the eye. Okay, well, if a person is um, considering getting LASIK surgery, what are the preparations that should be done? Um, first, there's a screening. No? Mm -hmm. We analyze the entire eye to see if there's no cataract, no glaucoma, the cornea is thick enough to undergo LASIK, no dry eye syndrome. Mm -hmm. Aside from checking the eyeball, we should also check the general well-being of the patient. No, wala siyang sakit, no? okay. like mga lupus, diabetes, hypertension, mga stuff like that. One of the aspects of LASIK screening is the age. No? We usually only laser 18 and above, no? unless it's really required. Like there are some where, because we are graduating from 16 year olds, okay. and then they have to go. There are some want to be soldiers, some want to be pilots, and they cannot get accepted. Eh? To these schools without 2020 vision, so okay. that's a time now we really have we can do LASIK, but otherwise we require 18 and above. Final tips and advice to like to our viewers to take care of their eyes. We should have a complete eye exam at least no um, once a year, no? and then if uh, one of the parent is myopic or has refractive error, then your children should be screened at an early age, no, because we want to prevent lazy eye, no, which is common in children. Because the problem with children, hindi sila nako complain, no, so. Children's checkup yearly is also very, very important. Nutrition is very good. Um, if you have good nutrition, every part of the body is well, especially the eye. And the lifestyle also is very important. No? Of course, exercise. When the body is going, the eye is also going, no? the circulation of the eye. And avoid bad um, vices like smoking, which can lead to early cataracts. No? Also, um, some problems later on in the retina. No? smoking, drugs, and other bad vices. So, yung pagkusot ng mata, mm. does that also cause like myopia or to worsen your myopia? Also, that's a very, very bad habit because that's how you get sore eyes. No? And po mga homepage, alam na natin ang mga detalye ukol sa myopia, kung ano yung mga myths, kung ano yung mga totoo, at kung paano natin ang papangalagaan ng ating mga mata.